So we're gonna try a funky bit of rigging here and uh, try and get some rig for rescue ropes that are also retrievable. So uh, let's see if we can keep this nice and clean. You guys can see what's going on. I have here my working line, um, which is already halved. I got the midway point here. Uh, usually I don't like to send a belly down, but we'll make it work for this one. And the two ends of my ropes. Um, I'm gonna put the two ends of my ropes in the IDs on the ground anchors here just so I can keep track of where the ropes are and what they're doing. You'll see what I mean in a second. So I'm just gonna load those up nice and gently there on the ends. I don't have to pull any slack through just yet. This is just so I know which rope is which here. And now I've got my working lines that are gonna go over there eventually. So now I need a retrieval line. Picked a red rope here making life nice and easy. Make a tight little bundle here with just one wrap around and tuck it through. So we have a nice little throw weight and it should unravel on the other side, hopefully. So I'm gonna toss this over the beam here and you see how it unravels and comes right back to me. So this is my retrieval line. You also wanna make sure the condition of your I-beam is known. Uh, if there's sharps up there, you wanna be extra careful with that. Um, or not do this method at all if, if uh, need be. So I'm gonna take a spare carabiner here, tie it into the end of my rope. I'll just use a quick little barrel knot. And now you'll kinda of see what I mean by keeping track of the ropes. I wanna take the ropes that are coming out of the IDs and just clip this line around them both. Okay, I'm rigging a full, full two rope system here in one shot, ideally. Um, and now this is gonna be a little bit tricky if you've got a really high distance, um, but if we're just trying to get to a low beam, um, kind of oil and gas kind of stuff, uh, we can get up there and have a rig for rescue set up. So I'm gonna pull the entire loop over the top first. Okay, I want to keep them separated so you can see what's going on. I'm going to pull this down just into a little Z sort of looking thing. So I've got the loop that I just pulled over and the working lines here. Okay, now I've got two steel slings with carabiners on either end. And I'm going to clip those slings. One end of the sling is gonna go around the loop. The other end of the sling is gonna go around the working lines. Okay, like so. And I'm gonna do that with two, just side by side here. Now it gets a little bit bunged up at the top because I got four carabiners there coming together. Um, but that's how we stay redundant. So I'll take now my retrieval line and just clip it to the two carabiners on the loop side. That's gonna be a little bit easier to pull over than just pulling over this loop. Okay, and now just like a normal retrievable rigging setup, I'm gonna take the ropes from below, my working lines from below, and I'm gonna pull that back over the top of the beam here. Okay, so you see the slings going up. Okay, and in theory, we pull that around. And now we've got a set of ropes. Let's get it over here a little bit so we can see. A set of ropes that run through. Um, pull the extra tail through your IDs here so we get all the extra rope on the other side of the IDs for lowering purposes. And we've got our rig for rescue retrievable rigging.